student-friendly expectations. We're going to tell the kids what we want them to learn for the whole year. The first week of school, here it is for the whole year. Can you ima can imagine the, how the eyes bulge when the kids start off the year? And here it is listed, one, the surface knowledge for the year, one, two, three, four, five. This is what you're gonna learn this year. Oh my goodness. It could be spelling with 500 spelling words. And they look at that and they just, oh, no, we're gonna tell them for the year. And then say, relax kids, we got 180 days, we're gonna learn it. But we want them to know for the year, this is what you are going to learn because that's how we get our continuous improvement journey. There's some, uh, a middle school uh, history class. There it is. Here's our spelling words for the year from elementary school. From a German class, there's the vocabulary. If what we want is students reading 100 words a minute, by the end of the year, they get the graph, the first week of school, that goes to 100, and they might, kid might be only reading 12 words a minute, it's okay, we're gonna make it. This is where we're going for the year. You let them know where we're going. And if it's in fluency, uh, and math fluency, and it's a two minute uh, timed, uh, then you start from, you don't make it harder throughout the year. You start, this is what we want you to be able to do in two minutes by the end of the year, and they know, they can see the picture, and they go, oh my goodness, in two minutes I'm supposed to do that? Yes, you will by the end of the year. Teacher clarity from John Hattie. Again, double the learning when it's extremely clear where we're going and what we're doing. We're not gonna spend our time when in high school trying to figure out what the teacher's going to put on the final. We know from week one what the key concepts. We don't necessarily know the questions, but we know where we're going from week one of the year. We know where we're headed.